Says 500. Okay, so Anna. finance question. Finance. Yes. Okay. Yes. And can you just tell me quickly what grade are you in, just so that I know what level I'm working with? In grade 12. Grade 12. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, Mr. Mugasa says 500 per annum mm -hmm. and deposits it at the end of each year for 10 years into a savings account that pays 6% per annum compounded annually. Okay. Uh, Illustrate the annuity on a timeline and show that the accumulated savings can be expressed as a geometric series. Okay. And the second question is, calculate the future value of the annuity immediately after the 10th deposit has been made. Okay. Okay, let's break this up into two questions and you're going to have to tell those people who are um, with you just to be quiet for me, Tabi Singh. Okay, Tabi Singh, if you can't keep them quiet, then I'm going to have to uh, do the question without you. Okay. Okay, are they quiet? <laughs> okay, so Tabi Singh, what we've got is a situation of this person putting 500 Rand in per year for 10 years, yes. every year for 10 years, and he's getting 6% per annum compounded annually. Yes. And we want to show this on a timeline and we want to show that it's like a geometric series. So the yes. first thing, whenever I start one of these questions, whether they tell me to or not, I do put it on a timeline. And of course, we start off at time now, which is time T naught or our present, okay? Yes. Then I have a look and I say, right, how long is this going to go on for? And it tells me that it is going to be for, for 10, years. Oh, okay? yeah, 10 years. Okay. All right. So then I can just kind of fill in bits and pieces along the timeline. I don't have to put them all in, but at least I can see what's happening. Okay. Now, can you see that this is actually quite a nice question because our interest is the same for the entire period. It doesn't change halfway along the way. Yes. All right, so I'm going to say that my interest is going to be 6%. Now, remember that if they give me that my interest rate is 6%, how do I convert that to use in my formula? What do I need to do to this? You need to divide by 100. Good. So do you agree that my interest rate is going to be 0, 0,06? 0, Okay, now just remember that this is compounded annually. So yes. normally we have a little number here. And if that says 12, then that means that it's monthly. And if it says a 4, then it means a quarterly. quarterly. But if it's not there at all, if there's no number there, then we're assuming that it's just annually, hey? Okay. Okay, right. Now, let's have a look at what happens. Do you agree that he comes along and he wants to put in 500 rand per annum for 10 years, okay? Yes. Now let's have a look at, if he puts in money here, if he puts in this 500 rand, do you agree that it is going to get interest all the way till this point, okay? Yes. This one is also going to get interest all the way till this point. And this one here is also going to put it, get interest all the way until the end point. Yes. Okay. Now, does it tell us when he makes his last deposit there, Tabi Singh? Mm. After deposit that, number 10. It says that at the end of each year mm -hmm. for 10 years. Okay. All right. So, in other words, can you see that this is going to be his first deposit, second deposit, third deposit, all the way down and he's actually going to make his final deposit at T10. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Right. Let's add up what money he's got. I'm going to just use a color and I'm going to take this deposit. Do you agree that that deposit 
is going to go into the bank and it's not going to get any interest because it gets deposited right at the very end here, Tabi Singh. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Now let's look at this deposit. Can you see that that deposit would have been in for one year? Yes. If we pull it there. So yes. do you agree that the interest on it would have been 0, 0,06 for one year? Is that yes. okay? Yes. Right. Yes. Now let's look at this deposit of 500 Rand. How many years was that deposit going to be in? For two years. Two years. Okay. Yes. So if we have a look at it, it's going to grow by 6% for two years. Yes. Okay. Now, let's just keep on going. This one here would have grown for four years. This one here would have grown for five years. But this last one here, all right? How many years would it have grown for? For nine years. Nine years. So in other words, that would mean that I've got that last deposit. This one here is 1 plus 0, 0, 6 to the exponent of 9. Yes. Okay. Now, sweetheart, can you see that what this is is actually a geometric sequence? Yes. All right. Because what is my first term? My first term is 500. Is 500, isn't it? Yes. Okay, what am I multiplying each term by? You're multiplying it by 1, yes. one plus zero, zero, comma zero 0,06. Good, so that is my growth factor. That is what I'm multiplying by each time. How yes. many terms are there in this sequence, Tabi Singh? There are um, 10 terms. 10 terms. So do you agree that if I wanted to add up how much money he had, I could use the series geometric formula, yes. which says A, A times what? Into R, mm -hmm. to the exponent N minus Good. 1. Excellent. Over? Over R minus 1. Great. Now, if we substitute in, we're going to get 500. What is my R? It's 1, comma, 0, 6. Yes. Okay, minus 1, and that is going to be over R minus 1, which is just going to be 0, 0, 0,06. But what have we left out? We've left out how many terms there are, so this should be to the power of? Of 10. 10, excellent. Now, I know that you are absolutely competent. You're going to put that into your calculator, and that's yes. going to give you your answer. Okay, yes. I yes. could quickly put it in... I think I've got times. So I've got 500 times 1.06 to the exponent of 10. Subtract 1. And that's got to be divided by 0 0.06. All right. And I'm hoping that... No, I didn't put a bracket in. So silly me. I just have to put in a bracket divided by 0 0.06. Great. And the answer comes to 6590, 4. Oh. Okay, so can you see that you've actually done this um, as a geometric sequence? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I hope that that was helpful, Tabi Singh, and I hope that you call us again next week because you've been a good candidate. Um, Ma'am, can I ask the last question? I just mm -hmm. want to know here, when they say calculate the future value of mm -hmm. the annu annuity mm -hmm. immediately after the 10th deposit mm -hmm. has been made, do okay. I, um, on... Um, Lovey, you've yep. just done that. You've just worked out the, the future value immediately after the 10th term. You've answered the question already. Okay. 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 Thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs>